<laughs> I just laugh because this time the Sixers and Phillies play, and I got tons of energy to spend on the Phillies because the Sixers gave me nothing. So with this Phillies game, they win 11-1, to and they bounce back after losing in Game 1 of the series. They had no hitting and no pitching in Game 1. Tonight, what did they do? What did they provide us? A great outing by Aaron Nola and 12 hits on the offensive, sky, on the offensive side, scoring 11 runs. It was just tremendous. And what I loved about this, early, we took advantage of mistakes by the Cardinals sloppy play throwing the ball around it looked like my little league team when I was six and we just managed to score runs and especially Bryce Harper goes yard with a grand slam <laughs> that was awesome this guy has been struggling insanely and to start off the game with that in the second inning let's go we needed that big time out of Bryce he finishes the day two of three he had one walk and, and four RBIs and two runs across the plate. Bryce Harper, let's pray that this is something that can get him out of this tough slump that he is in. It just takes a nice outing like this to maybe jolt something, to maybe get a little spark out of him. And let's just pray that this is it because he was really awesome today and a very productive player. So we score six runs in the, in the six, second inning. In the fifth inning, we score two. In the seventh inning, we score two. In the ninth inning, Reese Hoskins hits a solo shot. This this guy has been unbelievable. It's ridiculous how hot he has been, how beautiful he has been in this lineup in the fourth spot. It's nuts to think about the production we are getting out of his, out of his second full season here with the Philadelphia Phillies. I can't wait to watch this kid throughout his uh, career because he has been mind-blowing me, and it's awesome. It's so awesome. Every time he's up to the plate, I think to myself, yeah, yeah, yeah it's a good possibility. There's a great possibility this ball can be demolished and leaving the ballpark. And he's so poised at the plate. He takes professional at-bats. Reese Hoskins had four hits today. He went four for five. Three runs across the plate. Just... JT had two hits. Oduble had two hits and two RBIs. One weird thing, though, Gene Segura went 0 for 5. I never thought the day would come. I never thought the day would come. Gene Segura 0 for 5 now. He's only hitting, what, 655? <laughs> okay. Anyway, let, let's move to Aaron Nola on the mound. Aaron Nola had a little bit more of Aaron Nola-like stuff. First time all season, I saw a little bit more of the Aaron Nola. He goes six innings, three hits, one earned run, only walked one, and struck out seven. The off-speed was nice. He was locating pitches. We finally did see just a, a nice-looking Aaron Nola, and that makes me so happy. This was a nice ass whooping by the Phillies to respond from. Let's be real, a, a little bit of an ass whooping last night. I know it was only 6 nothing, and today's 11-1, but I think each team kind of took some punches and took some haymakers at each other. And let's see how this team responds tomorrow. A nice afternoon game on a Wednesday at 1:15 with Jared Eikhoff on the bump. I love afternoon week week day games it's it's just nice and entertaining to when you get the chance I'll be able to to watch the afternoon game thankfully it, it sucks when you can't w watch it and you have to somehow listen to it or find ways to to scroll through the the ESPN app and look at the live feed during the game but I'll actually have a chance to to watch it which is unbelievable for afternoon tilts during the week it, it just gives you something to look forward to midday we have a chance to win a series I know we lost the first game, which seems like a repeated record here when it comes to the Phillies and first games in a series. We constantly always lose them, which we did again with this one. But we bounce back in game two, and we have an opportunity looking at us in the face on the road to win a series. And that's big for me. This team struggles on the road. Really, it does. There's no denying it. I need to see this team take the next step, and especially against a good team, especially against a very well-respected squad with 21 wins. Look at them in the face in their stadium and say, I'm taking this game, and we're running with the series. Eikhoff needs to have a good game. I've actually felt a little bit comfortable with Eikhoff on the mound. Never thought I'd really say that, to be honest with you, but I have. But I have. So there really isn't much to this game other than dominance, very one-sided, taking advantage of errors and sloppy, horrendous play by the St. Louis Cardinals. 
which is a good sign. Good teams do that. Now, if we would have left runners stranded in the second inning and only moving them to third and grounding out and not producing runs in that scenario, those are the type of things that bother me. I know it's baseball and there's going to be times where you attack on runs, but then you leave a guy on third here and there. I get it. But good teams take advantage. And let's be real. Even though we're 20 and 15, this hasn't been a smooth 20 wins. This hasn't been um, a... a start through 35 games where as a fan base we're pumped we're excited we're, it's kind of like a miserable 20 wins but if we play like this which we know we can it will be a lot smoother and a lot more entertaining this was entertaining this was enter- this is what we can do though and we know that last game I talked about the middle of our lineup zero hits for all these guys Bryce Reese JT O'Double. we'll now take a look at it Bryce, two for three in a walk. Reese, four hits. JT, two hits. Oduble, two hits. We know they can do this. And this is with a game where Gene Segura gets zero hits. And let's be real, that just doesn't happen often. We know we can do this. We need to see it more consistently. It's been a stressful 20 wins. The offense not showing up. The bullpen blowing it. The starting pitching not being there. Let's try and grab something here. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm going nuts. Maybe the Sixers are just uh, making me feel some type of way, if you will. Now, once again, I know I did this last night during my recap video, but let's take a look at the live scoreboard around the division. So what we have right now is the Marlins lost to the Cubs, if we still even care about the Marlins. The Mets are up 2-1, to one, but it's only the third inning over the Padres. And the Dodgers are beating the Braves 4 nothing, and that's only in the third inning. I guess the Nationals did not play today. Oh, they did. They lost 6 nothing to the Nats. So that's the scoreboard around the division for the day. It would be lovely, obviously, to see the Mets fall to the Padres again. If the Dodgers can take care of the Braves, that's very solid as we can take advantage of this win just a little bit more, of course. But in in reality, I I do like to check the scoreboard every day just to keep my eye on the opposing squads, but we need to take care of business on our end. And like I said, if we can contribute like this on a consistent basis, we will be able to handle squads like this. Now, tomorrow I'm curious. I'm curious how this team is going to come out and play. Because I've seen this before. I've seen great nights like this. And then, what, we respond with a three-hit game the following night. And Eikhoff can't get it going. Not specifically Eikhoff, but I'm just using that as a scenario. I've seen games where we were very successful after losing a game. So we would lose a game. We come back. We fight. We show it. We show effort. We show what we can do. And then the following game, three, four hits. Starting pitcher can't get going. Bullpen blows it. Somewhere along the lines here, and we're only 35 games in, but somewhere along the lines, we need to say, okay, that's going to stop. And we need to consistently be like this. We need to produce. We need to show how powerful this lineup is. We're getting back to our normal lineup. Koch, Segura, Harper, Hoskins, JT, Oduble, Cesar, Franco. Back to the opening day stuff. So let's see that stuff. All right. So as for the bullpen today, let me just go to the Phillies game because it kind of got lost on me. Not that it really mattered because it was such a blowout, but it it bothers me when we use guys like Nicasio in very meaningful games. So when they come in games like this and they do well, I hate that that's being judged as, oh, well, he can come in during a good game. Well, listen, he went two innings. He allowed a hit and struck out three, but I don't have much hope in Nicasio. I hate that they value games like this the same as a 3-2 game in the seventh inning. I don't believe in Nicasio, but we go and use him today, and he wasn't horrible. Therefore, well, maybe maybe Gabe elects to use him in important moments later. And And I guess at the same time as I'm complaining about this, That's what we have. That's our roster. That's what it is. You use the guys you have. But I just, I'm not a Nicasio fan, all right? And then we go with Garcia for one inning there at the end. So, not that it mattered. It was such a big blowout by that time. Let me know your thoughts down below on on this Phillies game. 11-1. 
I'm very happy with the way this offense worked and how Aaron Nola did. There's no denying that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.